There we go. Wow. That's ridiculous, guys. All right, just let it drip. Just let it drain, and we'll come back in a bit. I checked the reservoir, and then it's just bone dry in the reservoir now. So it's gonna put a little cloth in here so it will stop dripping and then make a mess in the carpet. So we're gonna put a cloth in there. Just shove it in there. Just like that. All right. And then uh, we're gonna be prying out the top portion as well. And then this whole tube right here, we're gonna bend it out a little bit and then we'll slide this uh, heater core out. All right guys, so I use a flat screwdriver to uh, pry the lip of those aluminum that one that folds so this is ready to go now i hope it will come out now how oh, because uh it looks like it's okay so we're gonna have to uh pull this hose out all right we're gonna have to get to move this bracket again all right so this bar i just kind of reefed it and then push it back towards me like that and then it just made a big gap right here so this is good Let's uh, pull this hose now. There we go. Perfect. That's what, that's what we want. So just gonna rest it on that bracket right here so that we could pull this heater core. This is the money shot right here. Pulling out the heater core. The money shot. All right, guys. So I had to rebend this bracket again, so you can see. That's how it look like now. I use a long pry bar, rest it on that bolt right here, and then pry this bracket towards me, towards the steering column. It's on this angle now. And when I uh, pull this uh, heater hose out, make sure to bend a little bit this hose out towards this way. So you can see, this is the money shot right here. It will slide right out. It's not hitting the bracket right here up, up top. Slide right, just slide right out, just like that. Look at that. There it is. Old heater core. Man, there's some weight into this thing. Wow. See, if you blow air in here, it'll probably have like a little bit of air coming out on this side. As you know, that's plugged. All right, so here's a new one. We're gonna prep this down and we install it on the vehicle. All right, guys, we're on the bench here. This is the brand new replacement one. 99380 is a Spectra. So you can see, I will slowly work on this side already. I just use a pick tool and a flat screwdriver, and then just keep reefing it out those uh, that area where it where it was bent. So this is ready to go to come out. I uh, was gonna pull this out of here. See how easy that is. And then we're gonna reuse this O-ring. Okay, we're gonna reuse it. So just make sure which one you took out first. Line her up so that when you install this back to the vehicle, you know exactly which one to go first. All right, can I quickly show you how I did this on this side right here? Uh, grab a flat screwdriver, just rock it left and right, or you can use this pick right here, pry it up, and see how it opened up a hole, and then you just use a flat screwdriver. To bend it out see that one's done and then do the other one it takes a while but you know it will get the job done all right guys so finally this one is ready to come out let's rock it back and forth there you go all right, so the, let's slide this into the vehicle and then let's uh, put everything back together. You can see the name, the part number is facing down. Okay, part number is facing down. We'll slide this in here. Oh, what are you guys doing? 
in like that make sure uh, check the hose at the back make sure it's not gonna scratch anything there we go push it in all the way just like that we'll take out the o-ring look at how tiny the o-ring is compared to the new one all right just gonna give a good wipe on that pipe on each end here clean all that gunked out one down there one up here all right guys so uh, before you put this uh, hose in here to this hole you can tell that it's kind of sharp edge here so we're just gonna use this uh, 5 8 socket here to rim out this edge just a little bit of quick tip here you don't want that seal to rip out when you're trying to install that hose so just gonna rim it out go around this is a 5 8 this is the same size as the heater hose that you want to use on some other people out there that they cut the line off on this thing so that's good it, it's it's rimmed out we're gonna put a little bit of a seal grease in here so it would slide right in all right push it in push it in hard All right, quickly show you guys the one on the top here. Uh, I just use a 5 8 socket to rim out this hole so it's nice and round. And I use 11 16 after. All right, let's give this a try. Put this on uh, on the hole. We should put a little bit of a grease seal on that o-ring so it will slide right in all right give this a try here oh look at that perfect i'm just gonna have to use a flat screwdriver and a and a good size socket to tap it in right into the hole just like that okay go around it and when it's all in there we're gonna pinch the lip of that heater core edge and then we'll lock everything in place. All right, guys, here we go. I kind of went crazy and uh, off the camera, I'm pounding those lips of that heater core. It's not bad, it's all in there. Same thing on the top. So I use these uh, locking pliers here to go behind that heater core outlet so that when I hit it, the heater core is not moving and it's not going into that HVAC system. So this is just to stop it to uh, going in while I'm pounding this lip. I'll just use this socket right here and a small little heavy big socket to pound it in and then a bit of flat screwdriver to pound it in as well okay so it's all around all around on the other side as well same thing up on the top it's all all the way around I should better do that one too that little corner right there 